Hi, I'm here in my workshop uh, working on all the projects for the Choo Choo Barn. Uh, I always have about 25 projects going on at one time. That way when I get bored with one, I put that aside for a little while, go to something a little different. Uh, right now I'm working on the roof for my new station that's going to be on the circus line. Uh, I started by making the wooden uh, roof itself and then I, I decided to use true wood shingles on the uh, the roof itself. They're made by Builders and Scale and they come in different types of wood. Uh, this, is a, a, this is like a rustic type shingle. Um, and what I did first is I started by putting a piece of, a, of the shingle material on here, measuring up, seeing how, uh, at what point the top of that shingle is. I drew my line across. Then I put a second row on just to set it on there to figure out how far that second row of shingles should be up. Then I measured up, uh, drew a line across. So they're my guidelines for when I place the shingles onto the uh, roofing. And uh, I started on this side and I laid up my first course of shingles, then laid up my second course of shingles, and now I'm working on the third course of shingles. Now, in between the courses of shingles, what I decided to do is even though this is a self-stick, adhesive-backed wooden product, there's always the possibility that somewhere along the line, this stuff is going to let loose. So what I'm doing is I'm laying a real thin bead of carpenter's glue right along this edge. And that'll hold this course of shingles down. And it'll also give me something that this course of shingles will lay on top of. Um, and I can just kind of show you here what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I just take my little glue uh, container um, and just lay a very thin bead right across the top, take off one of my rows of shingles off the paper, and as you can see, it is a self-stick product, and I lay that course right down on top of that bead and right on top of the other piece of shingle. Make sure that my lines light up. And it's done. Now I'll start again. Lay a thin bead of, of glue down. Take the next row of uh, real wood shingles and lay it on following the next line. Now, I'm going to work this whole way up, and I'm going, to, I'm going to finish the shingles the whole way around, and then I'll get back to, uh, to doing some finish work on the roof by pulling some of the shingles off and uh, making a hole in the roof, making make it really look like it's an old, an old building. Um, so let me finish this up and then I'll get back and we'll, we'll see how things are going.